This week on Sportsman TV, grocery shopping, South Louisiana style. Sacale, filet mignon of the freshwater world right there. As good eating as it gets. Scale on, scale off, it doesn't make any difference. Good as it gets. Well, I think the biggest reason to be excited about cyclic fishing in the springtime, and I even know this from my past, that is the prime time. You know, the, the serious die-hard crappie and cyclic fishermen, like Mr. Murphy, they fish them year round. And, and you know what, more power to them to do that. But for somebody with maybe not as much patience in cyclic fishing like myself, I want to go when they're biting. <laughs> and without a doubt, you know, especially when they're starting to relate shallow and getting ready to spawn and uh, during the spawn and early in the year and the weather's so nice. I mean, this is, to me, if you were going to pick one time to do it and you weren't a die hard, this is definitely the time to do it. Like right now, they should be on the bank. So you would generally just try to fish the bank and look for cypress trees. You want to fish your cypress trees and tupelos if they have tupelos. Because that's where the fish like to spawn. They like to spawn around tupelos and cypress. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm very surprised that we're catching fish in here, but you know, of course, uh, anything is predictable. Uh, and you look for uh, water discoloration. It's got, uh, it's probably got a pretty good tint to it. You can see you jig about, uh, I would say about 10 inches in this water here. Uh, generally, that's what you look for. You know, the funny thing is, I cycled fished a bunch as a kid. Like yeah. that was something my, my grandparents loved it, my right. parents loved it, right. but this is brand new. I've never fished through the lilies like that for them. A lot of people don't know about this. Yeah. You know, there's a lot well, of people that really don't know. telling this or not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let this show come out way later. Let me get a little bit of this before we, uh, but it is, it's really, I had heard of it, but never seen it done before. So. Oh, really? You know, I, I prefer to cast with a rod and reel. Now, I prefer to fish for anything with a rod and reel. Where Mr. Murphy, you know, today was, you know, with the jig pole. That's, to me, that's old school crappie fishing. But with the new school mentality of the way he fishes through those lilies, I guarantee there's, there's going to be a lot of people watch this show that sacule fish, crappie fish, whatever, all the time and that have never fished like that before. Because even me, I had heard of that, but never seen it done. So that was a cool thing to, you know, to pull those crappie. I bass fish that way a lot. More times than not on the bass, regardless of how deep it is under the mat, they're normally right underneath it. What really amazed me today was how deep the crappie were. They were all the way on the bottom in nine feet of water under the mat. I, honestly, I probably would have never, even if I had fished through the mat for them, I probably wouldn't have fished on the bottom. You know, whatever it may be, the cool thing was he had them dialed in. We pulled right up on them this morning and start catching them. And yes, I'm taking them all home with me. Why Bowie Outfitters? Our customers know why. Bowie Outfitters is a, a friendly place. Uh, Bowie Outfitters is a very personable place. Uh, when you walk in the front doors, everybody's telling you hello, and it makes it very easy to come in here and, and shop and on, be a customer and go to the archery range and go to the gun counter just because you're gonna get personalized service. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters, for everything outdoors. Quality, performance, value. Polaris has it all. Whether you want a hard working ranger, smooth riding sportsman, or razor sharp razor, we've got a full line of industry leading machines, all priced hundreds less than you'd expect. Ride away on a Polaris Sportsman 400 for as little as $56.99 during the Polaris XP sales event. See all the great deals at Polaris.com. 
Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman logo clothing and accessories are just a click away at louisianasportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, koozies, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit shop.louisianasportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. At Strike King, it starts with the concept. Next, it's all about perfecting the prototype. Finally, it's about catching yeah. a dream. This is a new prototype crankbait we're working on. Strike King. It's called a 10XD. Strike King 10XD. Wow! A five-pass limit! Perfection to 25 feet and beyond. Catch your dream. Fishing, it's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. It's spring of the year and we're going sacrilet fishing or crappie fishing or even white perch fishing, whichever one you'd like to refer to them as. I like to refer to them as the filet mignon of the freshwater world. Uh, a couple things to get started. A good package of premium jig heads, maybe in about three sizes, 1 32nd, 1 16th, and 8th ounce. That'll get you pretty much any depth water, any wind conditions that you might run into. Uh, a good selection of plastic bodies, either that resemble crawfish, grass shrimp, some type of bait fish to get started with. Uh, something that's really caught on here recently is actually crappie or sacolay crankbaits. Uh, this is a Strike King. It depends on if you like to pole fish or cast or whatever. There's something that's for everyone out there. It's um, relatively easy to get into. And last but not least, a good premium fillet knife, whether the manual style or the electric style that I prefer. That's the way we like to end the hunt every time here on Sportsman TV. I've been fishing soccer for about 40 years. I started when I was about uh, 20 years old. Uh, basically started here in Henderson and uh, just beating the trees and kept beating them and beating them until I finally figured out how to catch them. When I ate the sockley the first time, I knew that was the fish I wanted. <laughs> I, love to, I love to eat it, it's a good fish, and it, it, the, the fish is hard to catch. I mean, you gotta really know what you're doing to catch it. You know, it's, it's a challenge, and I love that challenge. You know, you know uh, probably the first thing I noticed fishing with Mr. Murphy was how organized all this stuff was. Like, from the time I got in his truck to drop his, but I mean, everything is immaculate. You know, uh, maybe just a hair touch of OCD, maybe just a hair touch of it. I mean, his boat was laid out immaculate. I mean, I, honestly, I thought his boat was brand new. It was a 94 model. I mean, it looked like it just come off the showroom. Yeah, it took me quite a few years to learn how to do it, to master it, you know? Quite a few years. I would say it took me probably about 10 years to master it. I would catch a few in the beginning, uh, but I'd see a lot of people that were that been doing it for a long time that were catching a lot more than I was. So I figured I wasn't master at it yet, but I kept being persistent, and I learned how to do it. He is prepared for any situation. I mean, he's he's got different weight jig heads. He's got different color jig heads. I mean, he's got from rigs with corks with no corks where he can tight line. From the custom built pole he's got, you know, to make that hole in the, in the lilies or, you know, whatever type of grass mat it is where he can fish, you know, fish through it. He, uh, he's definitely set up, you know, without a doubt, he, he does this, like he said, 365 days a year. So you say you want some filet mignon? Yes, sir. Now he's, he's 10, you don't have to measure. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> I know he's not 10, but I'll give you some filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I consider him a specialist. Like, he is a specialist at, you know, what he does, at sacrilege fishing. 
Um, it's cool to see somebody who ca you know he, he cares that much about what he does. I went shopping, so I, I found some uh, fluorocarbon, which is a 17-pound test, is what I'm using right now. I have some other string string on my poles, but I'm just doing away with that. I'm using it up, and then I'm going to stick with the 17-pound uh, test fluorocarbon. The reason I like it is because the string doesn't curl up, and you can feel uh, the bite a lot better. And then you can watch what your string is doing. And I use the cl the clear clear on the uh, fluorocarbon. Uh huh. That way the fish, to me, they can't see that string like anything else. You know? I'm afraid he's fixing to tell us that that one's not long enough. No. <laughs> that was, hey, we got to give him a chance, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Got to give him a little break, man. Why Bowie Outfitters? Our customers know why. When you need something, you come in, you ask for it, and you can get it. Great selection. Uh, clothes here, guns, shells, calls, whatever you need. I like coming in and doing that. And more importantly for me, I'm a big bow hunter. I think these guys are better than anybody. That's why I come over to Bowie Outfitters. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters for everything outdoors. At Service Chevrolet Cadillac, the service experience runs deep. It begins with a major investment in our beautiful new showroom on Ambassador Caffrey. Add to that the largest inventory of exciting Chevy and Cadillac vehicles. Then there's the exceptional service that's made us what we are today, Acadiana's most recognized and respected Chevy and Cadillac dealer. It's in our DNA. It's in our name. Service Chevrolet Cadillac. Experience the difference. Quality. Performance. Value. Polaris has it all. Whether you want a hard-working Ranger, smooth-riding sportsman, or razor-sharp razor, we've got a full line of industry-leading machines, all priced hundreds less than you'd expect. Ride away on a Polaris Sportsman 400 for as little as $56.99 during the Polaris XP sales event. See all the great deals at Polaris.com. As fishermen, we're predators and fish are the prey. In nature, the best fishermen have one thing in common, their eyes. How do you turn your eyes into the eye of a predator? It takes 11 layers of lens technology and a new lens color to make the human eye emulate the eye of a predator. Stop buying glasses for the classes to make yourself an alpha predator. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up-to-date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. I'm Richard Wagley. I'm going to talk to you about basic turkey calls. If I were just getting started, uh, I would use what, what I classify as friction type calls. Friction type calls are anything that where you rub two things together to make a sound. This is a box call. These things have been around since the Indians started hunting turkeys. They're simple to use. Just a matter of doing that. This is a box call. This is another type of box call. Uh, there again, you get, you get two different surfaces you're rubbing. To create that sound with. Then you have what we call slate type calls or pot calls. Uh, this one has the surface on it is slate and you take a, a wooden dowel or there again it, it's simple to do. If you can write your name you can run one of these calls. Turkeys actually have their own language and as you understand them and fool with them more and, and around them more you, under, you begin to understand that language as well and you know when you when you cluck to one what that's supposed to mean when you when you yelp to one what's that you know that means to the turkeys and you can definitely overcall there's times when you can overcall there's times when you can undercall it's just like duck hunting if you're where those ducks want to be you're a whole lot better duck hunter same thing with a turkey if you're where 
they're wanting to go in that direction, that proximity, you can make yourself a whole lot better turkey caller. I think, I think the biggest thing today when we would switch spots, we changed areas a couple times, but we basically fished the same way every time we moved. Uh, that's a confidence deal. You know, Mr. Murphy, he was really, you know, well, we, we were with him doing his deal, and uh, that's how he catches them, and that's how they were all caught. You know, because occasionally, even when he was fishing, I would fish a little shallower around, you know, I'm, I'm keeping him in check to make sure that he's, uh, got it dialed in, but without a doubt, they all came exactly like, you know, he said they would. Sometimes I would fish outside the mat, behind the boat, deeper, shallower, inside, and he stayed in that same realm the whole time, and that's where all the fish came from. Even though I fished in those other places, you know, all the bites were right where he thought they should be. He's got the, his pole in one hand, his lily pole, and then in the other hand, he has his rod, and I mean, he pulls him a hole and drops it in there, and, and you know what, another thing I've learned, he will front end you if he gets the chance. <laughs> like you notice, he didn't bring me a pole to make me a hole with. You know, he's got one for himself and he's hadn't turned loose of his pole much today. I mean, the way that I was fishing there, you, <clears throat> you needed to clear up a spot the way you could uh, drop your jig in there to, to catch him. And uh, I knew it was at, at a nine foot level, somewhere around nine feet, you know, because that's where they had been for the last uh, week and a half. It is amazing how quick you, you know, work that hole with your fork and uh, you know, drop right in there and they. Well, that's what I said. I, I think what happens is you drop, you know, the little minnows or whatever, grass shrimp, bugs are falling off of, maybe some crawfish, falling off of the bottom of those lilies. And that fish is looking for that. Right, you know? and he sees your jig dropping there. He sees my jig dropping there and he thinks it's one of them that fell off, you know? That's what I think, you know, that's my, that's yeah, my that... philosophy of it, you know, so I don't know, I'm not, you know. As far as predicting the fish, you can't hardly predict them. <laughs> you just go fishing, you know, and just keep trying. Okay, I've been fishing under the lilies probably about 20 years. And way back when, when I started fishing the lilies, the lilies wasn't so tight and packed. You didn't have to have a hook. There's always a little hole that you could drop it in. They didn't have all that growth underneath that you had to clear up to, you know, to get your jig down in there. I think these fish are underneath. I think they stay here. I, I don't think they come and go. Because they got plenty of food down there to feed them. And uh, they're in that spawn mode, so they're, they're not going to move much. So when they move in here, they here till they get they through here, spawning. They here till it till they through spawning exactly. See, as you can see, the stomach on this fish is real flat. Chances are it probably already spawned. Normally that belly would be real big. This is a female right here. This one here. So she's a probably already spoon. How, how do you, uh, how can you tell? Well, the, fe the a, female. I mean, even on, when they're flat belly, that it's a female or Well, a the male. female's got that white belly like that. Uh -huh, they're a lot lighter color. Right, they're a lot lighter color. The male's a little bit darker. That's one of the ways to tell. Sometimes in, in the middle of the, of the the summer, it's hard to tell because they're almost all the same color. And it depends on the color water you're in also too. But usually, I can, generally I can tell because I've seen it so much, you know. This is, a, this is the easiest way I can think of. You take an open pasture, you won't have very much wildlife in it. There's not much cover there for them to hide. That, you take a, that same area and cover it in trees or in brush or, you know, and then all of a sudden you've got a lot of places for a lot more wildlife. You have a lot more food. They feel protected. You know, they can hide from predators under there. I mean, there's just, but the main thing, I think more than anything, it gives the bait a place to hide and anytime you have lots of bait fish or you know a lot of crawfish, grass shrimp, whatever it may be, you know, you got a bigger food supply. And it's just like anything else, the more you feed it, you know, the bigger it grows and the more prolific. I mean, it's just a perfect situation. There's so much stuff under these hyacinth mats for those uh, for the sacolate to eat, so I mean, it's just kind of a perfect storm situation. Well, one you know, of the, one of the other keys to, to this fishing in these mats, it's got to be a permanent mat. <clears throat> like this mat right here has been permanent here for a while. All the grass has grown around the lilies and everything else. 
So that's where you're going to find your fish. The ones that are floating around, like what's behind the boat here, you're not, you're temporarily, <clears throat> you temporarily, you, eventually you're not going to catch any fish in there because the fish are not going to be hanging underneath there. They love to hang where the mat's not moving around and where, they, where it's stationary. That's where I do all my best fishing is where the mat is stationary. But it is a really neat technique and I'll promise you, there's a lot of people out there that just learned a lot about sacrilege fishing today from this trip. Because they've been fishing right down the edge of all that. And the thing about it is, no matter where you are in the state, there's something like this that exists. You know, someplace it's more that vine, like alligator weed, whatever you want to call it. And then there's lily patches and there's just all kind of stuff from the from where duckweed blows up and places where most people don't, you know, they, they stay away from it. You know, so there's that school of fish that lives under that stuff. Now, with that being said, this is not an easy deal. I mean, you definitely, he's prepared for it, you know, and it's a lot of work, you know, to do this. So uh, it's still not gonna be for everybody, but there's gonna be a lot of people out there saying, man, there's some of that, that same place exists on my lake at home, you know, and now I'll be able to do this. And it doesn't matter if you're in Florida, South Carolina, Arkansas, Mississippi, wherever, there, you know, vegetation grows all over the country. Why Bowie Outfitters? Our customers know why. Bowie Outfitters is a, a friendly place. Uh, Bowie Outfitters is a very personable place. Uh, when you walk in the front doors, everybody's telling you hello, and it makes it very easy to come in here and, and shop and on, be a customer and go to the archery range and go to the gun counter just because you're gonna get personalized service. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters, for everything outdoors. Fishing, it's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. At Strike King, it starts with the concept. Next, it's all about perfecting the prototype. Finally, it's about catching yeah. a dream. This is a new prototype crankbait we're working on. Strike King. It's called a 10XD. Strike King 10XD. Wow! A five-ass limit! Perfection to 25 feet and beyond. Catch your dream. At Service Chevrolet Cadillac, the service experience runs deep. It begins with a major investment in our beautiful new showroom on Ambassador Caffrey. Add to that the largest inventory of exciting Chevy and Cadillac vehicles. Then there's the exceptional service that's made us what we are today, Acadiana's most recognized and respected Chevy and Cadillac dealer. It's in our DNA. It's in our name. Service Chevrolet Cadillac. Experience the difference. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month, you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. Uh, you know, it's a cool thing. Mr. Murphy had a boat, it was loaded out. You don't have to have a boat to do this. This can be done from the bank. I mean, I think you you know, today there were, we saw several people, you know, fishing up and down the bank. There are a lot of places all over the country from bayous to rivers where you can park and fish off the bank. The other thing about it is you can do it out of a pontoon boat, you can do it out of a bass boat, a looming boat. You know, it, it's kind of a, and it is a good way for a kid to fish too because the, the deal is when you pull, when you find them, and you pull up on a wad, if you'd notice today, where we caught them at was in a place not much bigger than this room. They were really in a condensed area, so it's easy. There could have been a group of us in the boat, three or four of us fishing in that same area, and everybody catching them. So it's really a, uh, you know, it can be a, a more of a group deal. It's a wonderful fish to eat, so if you, want to, if you want to eat some, you need to get out there and catch them, or let's come see me and I'll give you some. <laughs> 
is this a challenge to catch that fish? And, and what I like about it is, is uh, once you find one, generally you catch two or three. Uh, I've, I've, uh, I've had several trips where I'll catch 50 fish in one spot, you know, and it's all some good fish. So that's, that's what I like about it. I mean, sometimes it's easy to catch your limit, sometimes it's not, you know. And there are so many opportunities to do this from, you know, all over the state, from deep reservoirs to, you know, the basin, the Mississippi River. I mean, there's just the Red River. I mean, you know, that's one thing that Cyclae exists and from one end of the state to the other. You know, some parts of the state, they're white perch. Uh, other parts, they're crappie. Here, they're Cyclae. If you go to South Carolina, they refer to them as crappy. They crappy fish out there. <laughs> so, uh, but regardless of what you uh, call them, they are the filet mignon of the freshwater, you know. The either, the, the, if, they're gonna, if they're gonna do it and they wanna get good at it, they gotta stay at it. You can't just come fishing once in a while and thinking that's, you know, you're gonna catch fish. It's not gonna happen. You gotta stay at it. You gotta beat the bush. You gotta, you gotta do it all. Uh, and it, it, you will learn how to catch them. You know? Now it helps to have somebody that knows how to do it to teach you, which I've taught a lot of people how to do it, you know, uh, and they love it. There we go. There's a good one. That's what I'm talking about right here. You know, see, we fishing as a team today. I like <laughs> this. I like having a partner working with me. See, this one this this. still has eggs in it. Uh -huh. This is a female here. She still has eggs. See, I go ahead and open the lid for my partner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take a chance of that thing slipping out back out of that boat. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a nice little quality fish right there. The other thing, like he was saying, like he fishes 15 or 20 different lakes just himself, but there are hundreds of places to uh, fish for cyclone and crappie all over the state, from deep reservoirs like uh, Toledo Bend, which is actually world-renowned uh, cyclone fishing. Uh, and some of the biggest cyclone on the planet live on the Mississippi River. I mean, they actually, it's not even uncommon for them to catch three pounders over in the spring when they're, you know, big egg-laden females. I mean, so we really blessed with everything here. I mean, we, again, it goes back to, I know, I, it seems like I just say this and say this and say this, but, you know, we do live in the sportsman's paradise. We're proving that here on Sportsman TV. I learned a really unique technique about catching a fish that we love to eat, and these cyclae right here got a black iron pot with their name on it. We'll see you here next time on Sportsman TV.